So we have a dryer here that is giving us a T5 error every time we start it. It'll run for a few seconds. Gives us a T5 error. That's a sensor error. I suspect that we have a bad thermistor. And I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to remove these screws right here on the top here and get I'm going to test the sensor from the board I'm not, I'm not going to take go all the way down to the sensor to test it I'm going to test it from the board confirm that and then replace it if need be okay I've got the top off of course dryer is unplugged and I'm going to take this board out here and I'm going to sh show you where I test the the mister from the um, control board we're going to do is we're going to check the thermistor resistance from the board. So you don't have to take the dryer apart to check the thermistor resistance. Okay, so I have the board out. It's just a couple of screws to get it out. This is a connector here on the board that contains the wires that are connected to the exhaust thermistor, which determines the temperature that measures the temperature and reports to the board that temperature and then the board will decide whether to turn the heater on and off. If this is out of range, the board will sometimes throw the T5 error. It's the red and the blue wires. We should measure with this multimeter about 10,000 ohms. Now there is a, on my website there is a chart, a list of um, different of various uh, popular thermistors and associated charts and values. And I will post that here on the uh, video. So we should be reading about 10,000 ohms at room temperature. I'm going to go ahead and test those wires and see what we get. By the way, our website, techcircuit.org, has a collection of common appliance thermistors, tables, and charts. There are several ways to access this web page. First, you can simply Google Thermistor Cheat Sheet, and currently the website is at the top of the search results. Secondly, you can just type techcircuit.org slash thermistors in the address bar, and that will bring you right to the page. Lastly, you can go to techcircuit.org and search thermistor. You'll be brought right to the page. Set our meter and resistance. Now I should be reading about 10,000 ohms from blue to red. I'm reading 112 ohms. I should be reading 10,000 ohms. So that is a hundred times less than what I should be reading. Okay, we got the bulkhead off. I'm gonna take the bone off back here. There are plenty of videos out there on how to disassemble these dryers. This is not this is not an instructional video on how to disassemble it. Just how to uh, test and confirm the thermistor issue with a given T5 error. Okay, so there is the suspect thermistor right there. I'm going to take that off. And there's your red and your blue wires. And I'm going to go ahead and measure that just to confirm that we have a bad thermistor. So right now I'm measuring 400, 5, 600 ohms. It's changing, it's, it's moving. Probably some moisture had gotten into the thermistor. Should read 10,000 ohms, but even 500 ohms that we were getting this is way off, way, way off. Now we're reading, I'm reading nothing. I'm not getting any, anything at all. So this thermistor is definitely, it's really squirrely. Um, okay, now I've got five, it was back to 500 ohms, now it's 600 ohms as I move the leads around. So that's like 18 times lower than what it should be. So anyway, so that's definitely a bad thermistor. We'll put a new one in there and get this back together or we'll clean it up real good and it should work fine. Okay, so I've got the Mr. Replace, let's go ahead and press start, see how we go here. 
before it was shutting down after about uh, 10 seconds. It's a lot quieter too. Backing out the blower makes a big difference. And we've got heat, it's working properly with no T5 air. Looks like we're good to go. That's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.